Hi there, Sandra here from the Schwoben's Nest. I'm so glad you stopped by today. If you've clicked on this video, then you're looking for some Valentine tiered tray DIYs. I'm starting off with this wood cutout heart from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to paint the whole thing with my new favorite paint, Folk Art Decor Chalk Paint in the color Parisian Gray. Today's video is part of a Valentine's Fun collab that is hosted by Liana DIY. Make sure you go down to my comments and my description box and click on that playlist link for tons of Valentine inspiration. I grabbed one of these larger tumbling tower blocks that I got at my Dollarama store and I'm just going to be painting the sides of it. This is going to serve as a little kickstand for the heart. Using my Cricut Joy, I just cut out the words key and heart and I'm going to attach those to the wooden heart. Using a Sharpie fine point pen, I'm going to write the words you hold on top of the word key and then I'm going to put the key, so the word the next to key and then my on top of the word heart. And as you can see here, I always work my way backwards to make sure that I have enough space for all of the letters. I'm just going to thicken the letters up a little bit and then add some shadow lines to make it look a little bit more high end. Using some hot glue, I'm going to glue on this little metal key that I picked up at a little unique store in a town not far from where I live. I've got about three or four of them in different sizes and shapes, but I thought this one would be just perfect. Using a rough brush and some black paint, I'm just going to go around the edges of the heart and give it some distressing. That will just bring out all of the lines in the carvings around the edges. I also just ran my brush across the top of the heart just to add a little bit more texture. For the block as the support piece, I'm going to have the block standing straight up. And as you can see here, I'm just figuring out the angle of how I want to lean the heart. I'm going to add some hot glue to the back and then glue the two pieces together. To finish it off, I'm going to just paint the back with one coat of Parisian Gray. When the paint was dry, I took a look at this little heart and decided it needed a little bit of something extra. I'm taking some of these little white pip berries that were left over from Christmas, and I'm just going to glue them all the way around the heart and create a little border. For the final touch, I took some of my black chalk paint and painted the little key black so it would blend in better. It was sort of a brown bronzy look and I thought the black just took it up a notch. DIY number two is also from the Dollar Tree. I'm using one of their square planks that come in a pack of six, and I'm also giving it a coat of Parisian Gray. I'm using two of the larger tumbling tower blocks, gluing them together with some hot glue, and then I'm going to glue the plank right on top of that. The tower blocks will become the stand for the sign. A little tip I can give you is when you're doing little projects with wood, make sure that you glue wood to wood. So don't paint everything and then glue it together because sometimes the paint will interfere with the hold. With my Cricut Joy, I cut out a truck decal. I put a little heart on the door and now I'm just marking where the truck will sit. I'm not going to be putting it down first. I want to use this heart stencil that I cut out with my Cricut Joy and using some plastic poster board. I'm going to just use my pencil and create some hearts that will look like they're in the back of the truck and then a few of them floating on top of the truck. I'm going to paint the hearts different colors and I'm just going to keep it rather neutral using some different shades of gray, a little bit of cream and white. Some of the hearts are overlapping on top of the others so I'm just going to make sure that I follow all of my pencil lines. Mm -hmm. 
my hearts are painted on so now it's time to add the little truck i'm just going to peel it off the transfer and go ahead and add it to my sign here's where you can see what i meant about the hearts being inside the truck it turned out pretty cute now i'm going to take a craft smart fine point paint pen and i'm just going to write the words be mine in a cute little font Now I'm going to use the smaller heart stencil and do some floating above the truck in different directions. I'm going to paint the tower blocks with a darker shade of gray. Like the heart, I needed to add something a little bit extra. So I'm taking some of this black and white jute string and I'm just going to glue a couple of times around the bottom and around the top. And then I'll finish it off with just a really simple bow. DIY number three is this little mailbox. I think it turned out so cute. I started off with two of the larger size tower blocks and I'm gluing them together in the shape of a T. Next, I'm taking two more and I'm going to glue them together side by side. This will create the base of the mailbox. This is a piece of aluminum cookie sheet from the Dollar Tree and I'm just using the little razor scraper lid to flatten out all of the bumps and ridges. I want this to be fairly smooth. I'm laying the mailbox base down to measure how wide I'm going to need my piece. I folded both of the narrow edges in about a half an inch and this will help me to create the rounded look of a mailbox. I'll put the folded edges at the bottom. I'm using Star Bond medium thickness CA glue, which is a type of super glue. I'm also using the accelerator, which will make the glue harden on contact. Star Bond glues are perfect for when you're doing small items like this, when you don't want any of the glue to show, or if you're gluing different mediums together. What I really love about it is the accelerator. You put the glue on one of the pieces and then you spray the accelerator and it turns into an instant hold and it's so strong. I've also used this glue to create tiered trays and they turn out so strong. I will have a link down in my description box. If you use the code, which is also in the description box, you'll get 10% off your first order. Now I'm going to be tracing out the shape of the mailbox onto a piece of white cardstock. I'm gonna cut out two because I'm going to need to have one on each end of the mailbox. Using the Star Bond glue again, I'm going to glue the cardstock right on top of a piece of the aluminum and then cut it out. Now I'm going to just glue the cardstock onto the wood tower block. I'm putting the glue on the paper and the accelerator on the wood. And once those two connect, it's going to bond instantly. Using a makeup sponge and three different colors, I have a medium gray, black, and white. I'm just going to pounce all over this little mailbox and give it more of a galvanized look. I'm sure you have seen people do galvanized all over YouTube. This is the way that works for me. I start out with a medium gray tone, then I switch to black and then white, and then I just move back and forth between all the colors until I get the color and the look that I want. I wanted to add the little stick that tells you when mail is here or not. So I decided to use one of the hearts that was from the stencil that I cut out with my Cricut. And I'm going to just glue that onto a little popsicle stick, one on each side, so it looks a little bit 3D. I'm going to decide how long I want the stick to be and then I'm going to move on to painting the post. So I'm going to start with black, but I end up painting it white because I really didn't like the harsh look of the black. Now I'm going to use my Star Bond glue again and the accelerator and glue the two pieces together. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got the mailbox done. I've got the little heart painted a lilac color, which I end up changing to red at the end. And I've got the stick painted gray. Now I'm going to take my Sharpie fine point pen and a little piece of cardstock and I'm going to create the word love letters and make it look like it's on a little envelope. Using the black paint, I'm just going to distress the edges of the letter. This next DIY is super simple. I found these little love containers at the Dollar Tree and I'm using 100% acetone and a cotton round to remove the print that's on there. This will just leave them a really nice white and I'll be able to do whatever I want with them. I went over to my Cricut and I put the words love you and love you more on the jars. So this one is going to say love you more. Really simple. I will have the free printables to all of my designs on my website, which is located down in my description box. What you've got to do is go to my website and then click on free printables and you'll see everything that's available. Then I took the Craft Smart paint pen in red and freehanded a couple of hearts on each of the jars. Then I outlined them with a little bit of black just with the Sharpie fine point pen. I love these little white jars with the cork tops so you'll probably see me take this off once Valentine's is done and redo them again in the future. This is another super easy project. I went rummaging through my stash and found this little rolling pin that I had previously painted white and distressed. I again went to my Cricut and just cut out this love decal with a couple of hearts and I'm just going to place that on the one end of the rolling pin. Using some of this black and white baker's twine, I'm just going to wrap it around a few times and then just tie it off with a sweet little bow. Are you tired of Valentine minis yet? I hope not, because I've got two more for you. I'm going to take this little canvas that came from the Dollar Tree, and as you can see, I had used it for something else. I'm going to now paint the inside of it white. Using the Parisian Gray Folk Art chalk paint, I'm going to paint the outside of it, the frame around it, and also the wood on the inside. I love Pitberry garlands. I think they're adorable and they're perfect size for creating little minis for tiered trays. I'm going to bend this into the shape of a heart and then wrap around a few times to give it more thickness. For the third time around, I did actually cut the garland because the berries are all in the same position. So they're the same distance apart and you end up getting a chunk of berries in one spot and nothing in the other spots. So I wanted to just change the spacing. So I just trimmed down the garland and then started gluing all the way around. Once I had three strands of garland all the way around, I just started using some hot glue and pushing the berries in the direction that I wanted them to be. Sometimes they're a little on the loose side, so I just wanted to, them to be more a nice shape rather than just kind of laying around their helter skelter. I also added a couple of single ones where I needed it. Once I had the heart the way I liked it, I simply hot glued it right onto the canvas. I really love the red with the gray and black and white, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the baker's twine. I'm starting by gluing it in the center and then I'm going to go over to each corner and then do a frame right around the heart. So I'm just going to make sure that the twine is glued in the center of the wood frame and then I'll top it off with a tiny little bow.
for my final project, this is a really super easy trash to treasure. I'm just going to remove the label from this jam jar. It's already been washed and cleaned. And then I'm going to take some burlap ribbon and using my stencils that I created earlier, I'm going to trace out some hearts. I used some tiny little cuticle scissors to cut out the heart to make sure that I would get a nice clean edge. Now I'll simply hot glue the ribbon right onto the jar. To add a little pop of color, I'm going to add some of the pip berries and just wrap it around a few times. And then I'm also going to just add some berries where there's some gaps. I hope you enjoyed my DIYs today. Don't forget to go check out the playlist link so you can see what all the other creators have made for Valentine's. If you're new to my channel and you like what you saw, I'd love for you to stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Those two black arrows will show you exactly where to click. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.